Man Pages, which is short for Manual Pages, gives you access to all of the documentation for Command right inside the terminal. So let's check it out. I'll open up a terminal and type Man Python, and there we go. Here's the manual to Python. End of the video, right? Nope, not at all. Because there's a lot that you can do with Linux-based manuals. This video will walk you through the other key bindings in the man command and how to make you more efficient by combining commands and navigate through all of the different sections like a pro. So let's get started. So what is the man command? Linode loves good documentation and helping their customers. The man command is a good mix of both of those things for the Linux user. But man is used to bring up a manual for tools in the terminal. There's even a man man so that you can read up on the manual itself. Getting started. The first command that you should learn is how to quit. Therefore, you don't get stuck inside of the manual. To quit, you simply type Q. So here, I'll type man man to enter the manual's manual and then typing Q will take me right back to where I began. But let's go back to man man and see the four sections, name, synopsis, description, and the manual sections. Unless we specify a path, then the commands operation will default to the directory that you're currently in. And you can press the space bar to jump down a page and then press B to jump up a page. So now I can navigate up or down per line or up or down per page. Great. Modifier keys. Not all keyboards show these modifier keys the same. Some show the symbols, some show the words, and others show both the symbols and the words. But let's review them. So this is Command, Control, Shift, and Option. One example when you use modifier keys is to jump to the end of the manual. Simply pressing G takes you to the beginning of the manual, but holding shift while pressing G for uppercase G will take you to the end of the manual. This control modifier key is sometimes called a hat or a carrot. And know that you don't press the control key and then the C key. You actually press C while you hold the control key down. So that's how modifier keys work. So now if you see these symbols in the manual, then you'll know what they're referring to. Additional help. Type H for additional help in the man documentation. You can see here that the normal help menu shows me things like the synopsis, whereas the additional help shows me things like the less command and the more command. You can also do this on specific man commands. For example, the cat command, which is short for concatenate. The way that works is you simply type in man cat to read the documentation about that or type man ls to know more about the list command. The great thing about man commands is that help is always local on the computer. So you don't need to be online to search for help documentation. Jumping between lines. Instead of jumping from beginning to end, how do we scroll through the help pages line by line? Well, with the keys J and K. The J and K keys are to move up and down one line at a time. The J key moves down and the K key moves up. You can also use the up and down keys on the keyboard. Visual cues. This section will cover the visual conventions in the manual. Things like bold, italics, multiple dashes, etc. Whenever you see a bold text, then it means to type the command exactly as it's shown. That includes case sensitivity, which refers to when uppercase is not the same as lowercase. Italic text is to replace the text with the appropriate argument. Arguments that are inside of a bracket are optional. And so this long vertical line is actually called a pipe argument. It means to choose one or the other. Anytime you see an ellipses or three successive dots, it means that the command is repeatable. Can I use a mouse? Well, you can use the mouse to scroll up or down, but one tip to get faster and more comfortable with the command line is to get used to doing everything with the keyboard. It might take longer to get used to, but you'll end up being much faster and more efficient. Also, you might not always have a mouse available. Are these VI and VM commands? Well, if you're familiar with Vim, we have another video on that, by the way. And you'll notice that the navigation keys are the same. Combining command operations. Some operations can be combined when there is a double dash. Here is one example, ls double dash with equals 60. But this can also be shortened into typing this, ls dash w 60. I'll shorten the word with to simply W, and this can be shortened even more by getting rid of the spaces, which becomes this, ls-w60. Searching keywords. You search by typing forward slash, 
And don't be confused with the backslash. The way that I remember this is to imagine that the line is a person standing up. The forward slash looks like the person is leaning forward and the backslash looks like that the person is leaning back. So let's go back to our main page and type forward slash file and we'll see all the words that say file. And pressing the end key will go to the next instance of the word in the document. So let's recap five things. One, if you get stuck or lost inside the manual, then press Q to quit and go back to the command line. Two, these symbols are your modifier keys. Learn them. Three, pay attention to the bold, italics, double dashes, and pipes in the manual because they matter in the docs. Four, the J and K keys are to move down and up. And number five, be sure to subscribe and leave us a thumbs up for more tutorials like this. Let us know in the comments below which man page or man command that you find the most useful. Mine is Q because I always get stuck. Thanks for watching.